Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekly love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. <coughs> Excuse me. For May uh, 3rd through May 9th. Guys, I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, um, and, you know, trying to get through everything that the world is going through right now. All right, guys, let's go ahead and shuffle up here. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for uh, my Leos, please, Spirit? What clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Leos, please? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. All right, my loves, so if you're currently subscribed, welcome back. And if you have yet to do so, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button. I do choose multiple winners every week for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, Palo Santo, sage, jewelry. Um, it is a lot of fun. So be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced, okay? So for personal readings right now, um, I'm only accepting emergency readings. So if it's a, a, an emergency or, you know, you need, you feel like you really need a reading right away, um, the link is below. Uh, in the description box below, you will also find my Instagram, Timeless Collective Readings, my new channel, Divine Spirit Healing 1111. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff down there for you guys to check out, okay? Um, I think... That's it. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle guys. Okay. So Leo, what I'm feeling was that you were with, you were in a situation where everything was so uncertain, very in and out, very wishy-washy, very just like all over the place. You didn't know if this person was coming. You didn't know if they were going. Okay. Now I feel like there may have been a separation between you and this person or a, a very short period of time where maybe you guys weren't talking. Okay. Um, and somebody gained some clarity here. Could be you, could be your person. Okay. Whoever here was very unsure of what they wanted to do with this connection. Right. So I feel that that cycle has closed out. Okay. I feel like this person has made up their mind. <coughs> um, but the problem is, is they're not communicating it. <coughs> they don't trust enough um, to tell you that this is how they feel. So they're envisioning a future with you. They see clearly that you are their person. Okay. They, um, this person dreams of marrying you. Okay. I mean, the children, the whole nine, right? But at the same time, when they speak to you, they give very little. Okay. They give very little. And that's because... Um, you know, maybe they're guarded, maybe they're not trusting, maybe, you know, um, yeah, I don't know. This person just doesn't want to relay how they feel. They just want to keep it to themselves. So we have here the door to personal healing and happiness. Yeah. So this person really does see you. I feel like maybe you've helped this person through a lot. You've been with this person through a lot. You've helped them heal. You've brought some sunshine back into their life, Leo. We've got third chakra here. Yeah. You know, I feel like you've helped, you know what I'm saying? Like in their gut, they kind of know that you're their person. Yeah, cornucopia, 11-11, twin flame energy here. You know, this person like just feels it from the inside out that you are their person, that you are meant for them, that you are destined for them, okay? Initially, there was some indecision. There was some indecision, but I feel that this person has allowed themselves to truly fall in love, okay? I feel like they have allowed themselves to fall in love. Um, and now their heart is huge, swelling with this love, but they're not saying it. <laughs> they're not, they're not, you know, and Leo, this could be you. This could be you that's doing this, right? Um, so let's see what we have here. We've got the two of swords and we have the six of wands. Okay, so what this tells me is that this person um, is very guarded, very scared because they feel that, you know, they need to know more. They need to know more. Like before I make a decision, I need to know more because maybe there's something here that I'm not seeing. Okay. With the six of wands and the nine of cups here and the knight of pentacles, I feel like this person sees this as a very successful connection with the nine of cups. They're very fulfilled. They're very happy. But with the knight of pentacles, they're taking their sweet time telling me about it. 
They really are. We can be dealing with an earth sign. They're taking that sweet time telling you about it. And Leo, you know, I mean, if it's your person putting you through this, that may be hard for you because Leo, you need that loving. You know what I'm saying? You need to hear it. Tell me, tell me, tell me how you're feeling. You know what I'm saying? With the four of pentacles. Yeah, see this person, that knight of pentacles is a very slow moving energy. They're keeping it to themselves. Yeah, we've got the moon card. Piscean, Cancerian energy, and we have the Four of Pentacles. They're keeping their feelings to themselves. They're keeping the, their feelings in the dark. They are not telling anybody. With the Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Waters, though, they do want to invest in this connection. They do see you as their Ten of Cups, okay? They do want to invest in this connection. They do see you as their Ten of Cups, all right? So let's see what we have here. So we've got the Eight of Pentacles, and we have the Fool. All right. So I feel, Leo, that, you know, whoever here is not being told the reality of the situation may be getting annoyed here because they're like, listen, I'm putting a lot of work into this this thing. And I mean, is this just like a casual thing that we're doing here with this full card? Like, what are we doing? I mean, is this like a truly committed thing where what direction are we headed in? You know what I'm saying? We've got the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, and the King of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So I feel like someone here wants to know the truth about emotions. Like, how do you really feel about me? Tell me. Like, how do you feel about this connection? Like, where are we going? Because with this Fool card here, I feel like this person feels like this person is taking the connection way too casually. Like, are we just friends? Because I'm putting work and energy into this, and if we're, like, just friends, you know, tell me so I can go about my merry way how do you feel about me this person is looking for wedding venues okay <laughs> this person has already already knows the name to your children okay and you're over here like are we just friends what are we like you know what i'm saying because they're not communicating it for some reason um we've got the two of wands here and we've got the ten of wands i feel like leo you know you may be in this place here where you're starting to look here like if this person doesn't make a choice or tell me what's going on here i'm ready to give up on this connection okay we've got the star card here aquarian energy and the three of pentacles so you know Leo, I feel like this is your side here. You know, you're wishing, you're hoping, you want a connection with a solid foundation. You want a connection that you know is going somewhere. With that three of cups, you want to know that there's going to be joy, there's going to be happiness. Um, you know, you want to rejoice knowing that this is your person, knowing that this person wants you, this person celebrates your love, celebrates your presence. And, you know, you're not getting that right now. You're not, you're not feeling appreciated. That song, Unappreciated, is coming to me from... Oh gosh, what is it? I don't, I forget who sings it, but it's an old song. Do you guys remember that song? I'm feeling so unappreciated. Yeah, that's like, that's how you're feeling right now. You know what I'm saying? Someone here is just feeling um, unseen, invisible, unappreciated. You know, when this person wants to be a star, they want to be seen. They want to be appreciated. They want to be told how much they're loved and, and wanted. You know what I'm saying? Instead, you know, the energy here is like one of a fool, one of like a friend. Like it, it's very casual. Nothing matters. Okay. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and clarify. <clears throat> Spirit, tell me about this Two of Swords, please. Queen of Swords. Okay. Uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. So you see that Two of Swords, that Queen of Swords, very guarded energy. Very guarded energy. Somebody that keeps everything to themselves. Tell me about the Six of Wands, that Eight of Cups. This person feels that appearing unemotional or emotionally unavailable is the best way to go when it comes down to relationships. This person may have been hurt. You know, the queen of swords has been through some, some shit, right? It doesn't mean that they don't love you because they have fallen in love with you, but this person feels that not showing their heart is protection, okay? Tell me about the nine of cups. We've got the moon card, okay? Cancer Piscean energy. So they're keeping it to themselves that you are their nine of cups, which they want to take to a 10, okay? We're going from a nine of cups to a 10 of cups here. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles, the world. So this person has made their decision. You're their, their world. You're their everything. They, they, they want to start a life with you. But with that Knight of Pentacles, they are just taking a lifetime to tell you about it. Tell me about this Four of Pentacles. 
we've got the two of wands okay so this person um is trying to make the decision as to when they want to tell you they're not sure yet tell me about the moon card we've got the ten of wands yeah this person needs to let it go <laughs> they need to like release seriously they need to let you know how they're feeling tell me about the seven of pentacles yeah see this person is very guarded maybe they're afraid of you know telling you and, and and investing that time with you and then getting hurt again this person is very wounded this person has been through some shit guys okay so this could be you it could be your person tell me about this ten of uh, excuse me ten of what yeah see empress this person sees you as their ten of cups they see you as their empress slash emperor you know what i'm saying this person really does celebrate your presence in their life they really do but they don't tell you they don't tell you with that five of pentacles you would never know how much you mean to this person aries taurus libra cancerian energy tell me about this eight of pentacles please spirit nine of pentacles so here you are pre-empress okay putting in the work of an empress we're going from an eight to a nine you're putting in the work of a pre-empress and you're like where is this going with this fool card like you're giving me nothing to work with here like this is a friendship energy the fool and the page of pentacles you know that's a friendship energy strong virgo energy tell me about the page of swords yeah what are you feeling talk to me <laughs> cancer scorpio pisces energy i need to know the truth what do you feel tell me about the king of cups two of swords you're too guarded you need to open up you need to tell me what's in your heart okay tell me about this two of wands seven of cups yeah this person being so distant is very confusing for you leo you don't know how to process this ten of wands with the ten of swords yeah i feel like you know you might be ready to give up on this connection because you just you can't live in a place or stay in a place where you don't know how this person feels tell me about the star card we've got the eight of wands yeah i mean you're wishing you're praying you're manifesting you you want someone that tells you that you're a star you want someone to tell you how important you are to them tell me about the three of cups the five of swords yeah i mean I, you're ready to walk away from this you're ready to walk away from this because you know i feel like you know you you're still looking back you don't want to walk away from this because you know you don't want to hurt this person you don't you, you don't want to regret walking away but you also need some type of communication here this person is your soulmate they're your destiny okay they are so try to be patient we've got the magician here and the five of pentacles <laughs> and patience okay yeah so what i'm seeing here is with this magician this person is making things appear in a way that they are not okay they are making things appear in a way that they are not they they look like they're cold they look like they're uncaring they look like they don't have feelings towards this connection but spirit is telling you to have patience we've got temperance here okay this person you know may look like they're not bothered they, they don't look like they're in love with you they don't look whatever but i feel like they are going to open up guys this king of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy with that eight of wands i feel like you are going to hear about how much you are this person's world Okay, I, I do see them opening up. The challenge here is the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. You need more romance. You need more of that love and feeling. You know what I'm saying? With the Four of Swords here, you're tired of sitting around you know what I'm saying? Just waiting for this to happen. So here we have transformation and the Eight of Cups. I love it. Scorpionic energy. Um, this is a massive change this is a huge shift in your relationship so this eight of cups feeling this emotional detachment this emotional disconnection that's going to change so leo you're getting your wish this person is going to be opening up to you okay they're, they're going to be opening up to you so have patience okay i love you guys take care